I'm Cayman Jason. This is the way I see it. So we're just getting ready to get on a plane. Um, it's about um, 6.30 here in Cayman. We're gonna land in uh, Nassau uh, about 9.15 their time. We're gonna stay with a friend of mine tonight. We're gonna get up in the morning, catch the first flight out to Freeport, get on the boat, off we go, diving with the tiger sharks. So excited. <laughs> Steph, what's up? Hi. So, uh, welcome to uh, to Freeport. Are you excited about going diving with the Tigers today? I am so pumped. I'm, yeah. super, I'm super excited, and because I'm down here shooting for the first time, I'm really curious about what what are your thoughts about diving with these beautiful, majestic tiger sharks? Are there any tips that you can give me uh, from a a from a safety standpoint, but b from an underwater photography standpoint? Yeah, absolutely. So, I think. The people who come here, most of them, the purpose of it is really to understand their behavior right. and have these really magical experiences. There's no other way to explain yeah. it, really. Um, nothing else like it in the entire world. And there's definitely safety is number one. Right. So understanding their behavior, if it gets heated, if the sharks speed up at all, or reading their behavior, they're not accepting us into their environment. Right. We're just going to get out, um, move location. Not worth risking anybody's lives for that. Right. But safety-wise, the sharks are curious most of the time, right. uh, just as curious in us as we are them. So tell me a little bit about the site. How deep are we going to be? Um, what's our bottom composition going to be? Um, hopefully this overcast uh, cloudiness is going to clear up and we're going to get some light, but what, so we, are we looking at a reef? Are we on a sandy bottom? What are we looking at? Yeah, we're looking between like 30 and 35 foot of depth. Yeah. Um, and then we're going to be mostly on sandy bottom. Okay. There might be some reef. We look for the edge of the reef uh, where the reef hits the sand and then we'll be mostly over the sandy bottom. Fantastic. I'm yeah. excited. You ready yeah. to go? Oh, I'm so stoked. It's going to be so much fun. Let's go check out Tiger <laughs> Beach. Bait lining on the surface bring the sharks in quickly, but the smell up top is almost completely unbearable. I'm getting this bait line ready right now. We're gonna get the sharks going crazy at the surface. Uh, it's gonna bring in action for the bigger sharks, like the tiger sharks and stuff. Uh, I got the crate at the surface right now. Once I get in, I'm gonna drop it down to the bottom. That's where the tigers are gonna sense it. They're scanning the bottom. Come in, we're in a sh little bit of shallower spot today, so it should be easy to dive down and interact with the tigers and uh, they should be here real soon. Free diving with large tiger sharks is absolutely not for everyone. The dangers associated with this type of activity are very high. Like everything else in life, with huge risk comes huge reward. The moment my mask breaks the surface, I become present in the moment the world goes away and I'm just concentrating on the next shot and the next shot. The ultimate goal here is education. These sharks aren't mindless killers, they're fish, they eat other fish, they do what fish do. The reality is tiger sharks, like all of our sharks, play a critical role in our world's oceans and we need them desperately.
Each image we shoot gives us another opportunity to tell a story, to reach those who don't dive, to tell the world these sharks are not mindless killers, they play a critical role in our planet's oceans. Welcome to Tiger Beach, guys. We're out here on a uh, choppy Saturday morning. We are just about 30 miles off the coast of, or the north coast of uh, Freeport, the Bahamas. And uh, we're out here on my friend's 32-foot contender. And as you can see, the conditions aren't perfect today, but we're super excited to be out here. So today we're gonna be diving with tiger sharks, lemon sharks, we might even see a hammerhead. So we're very, very excited. Now we've got some challenging conditions today in that we've got an overcast sky. So what we're gonna shoot today, and as you've seen my previous videos, we're gonna basically use my baseline settings. We're gonna be coming in somewhere around F11 at 1 100th of a second, likely gonna shoot auto ISO. We're gonna white balance the cameras to the sand. I'm gonna shoot the A camera. I'm gonna have Coral, my model, chasing me with the B camera. And when you guys are ready to go, we're gonna hop in the water and check out Tiger Beach. Entering the water through dozens of lemon sharks and reef sharks is definitely not for the faint of heart. Excited by the bait lining on the surface, the sharks surround the boat in anticipation of an easy meal. The feeding frenzy created by the bait lining at the surface brings in the large tiger sharks beneath the boat. Almost immediately, Alex's bait box attracts one of the large females to the surface. Freediving with large tiger sharks comes with its own set of risks. These massive sharks have very little fear of divers and will often approach closely. Inaction is not an option. Running from the shark will make you look like prey, causing the shark to give chase. To avoid a situation when diving with these large predators, we have but one option. It's called redirection. As the shark approaches, the diver extends his arm, gently placing it on the nose of the shark. In one fluid motion, the shark is pushed to the side, allowing the shark to pass the diver without incident. Like everything else in life, things don't always go as planned. Being confident in this situation is key. Standing your ground and understanding the shark's behavior is the one thing that will get you out of the situation here. In a rare moment of aggression between the two large females, one of the sharks decides to take a run at my friend Alex on the surface. His quick reaction sends the shark on its way, leaving only minor scratches on his camera's underwater housing. Alex's camera picks up the charge from a completely different angle, telling an altogether more violent story. After witnessing the aggressive behavior, I immediately pull the team out of the water. We'll run back into Freeport, regroup, and head out the following morning. How do you tell if an ant is a boy ant or a girl ant? No idea. You put it in water. If it sinks, girl ant. If it floats, boy ant. <laughs> boy ant. Oh! <laughs> yes. What do you, um, because everybody here shoots, right? Everybody here's an underwater photographer, some way, shape, form, or fashion. What's like your, um, what's your bucket list shot at Tiger Beach? Like, um, what's the yeah, Tiger Beach? Yeah, what's like, what's the ultimate goal? You know? I have the bull shark was swimming underneath the tiger, and they were swimming like that for a split second, and you could see the bull shark's wings hanging out. You could see his pec fins right, right above the tiger, and it was just crazy that how much bigger the tiger shark was, but that mm -hmm. they didn't care about each other. They didn't nudge, nudge each other out of the way. They didn't get, you know, that bull shark was, I'm staying here, I'm not moving. The tiger shark didn't care. Like yeah. the other sharks, you know, when the, when the tiger came in too close, all the other sharks kind of faded yeah. off. That bull shark, they stayed like this for like yeah. two seconds and I saw them line up perfectly. Yeah. I was like, oh, I took a dive bomb. I got some photos of it, but I don't. The sun rises over Freeport, revealing calm seas and heightened expectations. Enthusiasm is high as we head out for our final day of shooting. Welcome to Tiger Beach, guys. It is our last day of filming out here, and I am super excited. As you can see, the sea conditions have laid down. We've got like a one to two chop, but the most important thing is we've got sun in the sky today. So I'm super excited about our images today. Basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop in the water like we have on the last two days. We're gonna work off of our baseline settings. We're gonna be somewhere around F10, uh, probably one one hundredth of a second. Now, 
Again, we're going to shoot an auto ISO. And the reason we're going to use our auto ISO, guys, is because we're going to turn these, these tigers as they swim around us. Sometimes they're downhill from the sun, sometimes we're shooting up into the sun. So if we leave the camera on auto ISO, we're not going to have to worry about any exposure problems. So when you guys are ready to go, let's hop in the water. Let's go find some tiger sharks. My work as an underwater photographer leads me to a lot of different environments. These clear, shallow waters off the north coast of Freeport are perfect for ambient light photography. Sunlight from above reflects off the sandy bottom, filling in shadows and eliminating the need for external light sources. Contrasting colors and shapes help tell the story of these misunderstood creatures. For more videos on underwater photography, please be sure to like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. I'm Cayman Jason. This is the way I see it. Fantastic job. Boom.